Oh shit! Adrian dropped out. Adrian dropped out. Curtis, just me and you tonight. Let's do this. <laughs> What's up, man? What's there going on, y'all? I'm here. Oh shit! Woo. Y'all didn't see my my hair. I didn't even have time to do a damn. It, it got a little week. messy there. We were about. I was about to say it's going to get hairy for a second. <laughs> I got a haircut today. Can y'all tell? It looks great. I mean, it looks. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome back to our weekly therapy ses- session. Like you were you were off air to put on a hat. I didn't even yeah, notice, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't <laughs> notice you didn't have a. Hey, at least I got. I got a uh, white, almost more than, more than half my again, hair is now white. You got the George no, I have, thing. You, I have like right. the straightest hair, so it's like a porcupine type of deal. I just didn't. It was bothering me. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I feel you. I only wear hats because I'm actually completely bald on top, and nobody knows that. You got the, the wit. You got the wig uh, yeah, no. stitched into the hat. <laughs> yeah, that's y'all didn't know that. I thought I told y'all that. <laughs> yeah, no, look. Well, just so everybody's clear, I, I do have hair, <laughs> but you got a lot of hair. Funny. Yeah. Well, we were it's at fun. um AHR, we were at a table, and uh people were like, You're bald under there, aren't you? And I was like, <laughs> I took it off. They're like, damn it. <laughs> you know, they're like, you wish. Like yeah, just because like you're bald like doesn't a, mean I gotta be bald, bro. Like dude, bald I did dude. a video without my hat, and um, somebody had commented that he, they thought I was bald. Oh no, shit! Nah, dude, you got a really honestly a great hairline. Uh, hair looks great. It's going no back homo. further. It looks good. It's going back further every year, bro. I got bow docks, bro. You could park fucking two goddamn thirty twenty six footers in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They thought well, I was gonna say they thought you had that like Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels type oh, deal. Bro, right. <laughs> so sh- shout out, shout out to the you know, the wolf pack though. You know what I mean? I'm oh, trying yeah. to I got that, I got that uh diesel hair, you know what I mean? Ke- you know, oh uh, boy. He never lost his hair, he just nah, he, he had it. a phenomenal but he had yeah, yeah, he had a lot of hair. He was a wait, he's got hair like diesel, the ball guy. Not <laughs> he has <laughs> all like, the hair, you know, on that topic. He can grow his hair, I think. Uh, there, I I, there was like a there was like a thing going around like Vin Diesel has hair. He just doesn't. But no, Kevin Nash, uh, the wrestler back in the day, his name was he was just Diesel, big big dude. He had a really nice head of hair, but now it's just like yours. He's all white, but mm-hmm. he's got hair. I won't have hair by the time I'm your age. I know like, I won't. Even when my hair is wet, it don't look dark anymore. Sorry, right, dude. <laughs> just. <laughs> For shits and giggles, just do just for men. <laughs> just die that no, shit for one no. day. Like, like no, yo, I'm not doing that. Just do. All right. You know what? I think. I think the internet. Can everybody the in the window? comments, let us know. Can y'all see the window? No. Oh, now we can. <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, what are you doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Always love watching. It. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> you, you're you're on there without me. Like, what's up? My nuts didn't make an appearance yet. You know what I mean? Is he jumping at the window? Yeah. Well, my wife's provoking him. Oh, my I was going to say, he's about to jump through that. Don't break window. the window. <laughs> There's better be some double panes. Have you, have you guys, I think I've seen that before, like uh, like on TikTok or something, like those big ass dogs just running around the house and then boom, straight through like a glass door. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, he's not too big. He's not, but about 75, 80 pounds. Ain't too big. That's that's considered yeah. a large dog. <laughs> and he's still going to grow. No, oh, he's done growing. Is he? He'll he go, he go hit that. He'll hit 85, 90. Y'all get he's him about a reach? year and a half old now. All right. All right. Big boy. What's up, fellas? So, oh, I'm fucking tired. Uh, that's oh, why I was like, welcome I, back to the therapy session. Um, uh, before that. hold all thoughts, I, Kurt, forgive Sorry. me, but uh, I'm I'm mostly like I'll, I'll talk about it later in the show. But like on Monday there was a like a heat wave, and we did some changeouts. You know, out in the sun all day, mm-hmm. guys wanting to pass out on us. Um, but and I was drenched in sweat, like mm-hmm. head to like knee. Not, like, but you, you know, were, you weren't. You know what's day dry? Tell me more. I think we know my, where this is going. I know your feet, fucking feet were dr- wet. My feet were nice, comfortable, and dry. And mm. then today, too, like it's been hot all week, 115. 
And uh, oh my god, I didn't see that coming. I got out of my boots, <laughs> put on my sneakers, and you know they're fine. Tell it. What were you wearing? Oh, what, what prevented that? The uh, Camel City Mill socks. If you guys, a lot of guys have actually bought, so I appreciate everybody who uh, yes. used the codes. Um, Thank you. HVAC Knights Ten. If you guys want a discount at CamelCityMill.com. Uh, what's yours, Jake? Uh, mine is just Kraus. If you want to support um, small business, you want to support <laughs> Jake and his family. I got kids, y'all. I got I got a dog that's dying. I got five fucking parakeets. Apparently, like my wife just keeps buying one every week. And then, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got parakeets? Yeah, dude. It's absurd. It's an obs- it's an obsession, and it's getting out of hand. So go have, to the fucking. Do they have their own room or area? I'll have to send. You- I'll send y'all pics. <laughs> yeah. that, like they're in the the living room section. Like so, like our house is like the you walk in the front door, big living room, formal dining room, and that's where they're at. We don't ever go out there, but we got like a big cage, a medium cage, and a small cage. It's a thing. It's I let her deal with it. It she likes it. That's you can probably hear little, him at some point. Little fun fact. Yeah. Yeah, got 30 cats and uh <laughs> yeah, you know the fucking people do you're just like when you get I got, we got we got one dog and one cat and that's plenty enough with the yeah. two kids that run around. Dude, um speaking of animals, did y'all see that picture I sent y'all today? Yes, sir. There was a lizard in it. Blew that out, bro. <laughs> I've never seen it looked like he died like this. He was like, <laughs> this like, is it exploded and i don't know what was coming out but uh oh that was on a on a board right yeah it was the back of ride that shit too boy i was gonna say i I got a little shock out of a capacitor today because i was like in a hurry but it wasn't too bad we're okay uh it was one of those damn turbos i was like shit like my finger got caught in there yep no if the power's on you don't see me no that's not true but no power is off Stupid capacitor. You oh, you didn't discharge it? Yeah, no. Rookie? I was in a hurry. It, yeah, it's They'll nothing. get you. I, yeah, I felt it. So <laughs> I was so pissed with that call, though. It was the last call mm-hmm. of the day. I think I went out there like at four or something, eh. and uh, they just need a new damn unit. That thing is like falling apart. No, you don't sell units, okay? We don't, we, <laughs> even if it's 20 years old, okay? Like, <laughs> Oh my god. That's our internet sloths, bro. Like shut the fuck. Oh my god, I got this guy commenting on my videos. Yeah. Well, I I wrote it down, but I wasn't gonna like call out, but you I mean it's yeah, it's in Kurt's comments. Yeah, just go to the um, video, plug the video. You can um check it out in the link that's gonna be over there above Adrian's head later on. That oh, you, don't, okay. you don't have to do that. I mean that's a lot of work. You do enough. You do it is, a, is a video I posted. Was it yesterday? I believe so. <laughs> hey, I don't get shocked any more than somebody else. I just film it <laughs> at all times. Yeah, that's, yeah. This is <laughs> he's got it going on. Um. Well, what I was gonna say is, uh, just looking through the comments, when like I think we have enough people in the chat right now. When do you guys? Obviously, we want to give the customer options, right? Always. That's always their choice, whatever. But this guy was saying, like, if if you're going to work on a 20-year-old system or whatever it is, you know, an older system, he says that you should be looking at at their electric bill and the efficiency and all this. In my head, like, like he was trying to say, you know, think think about the customer and their bill, right? You're going to lower their electric bill. In my eyes, you're just taking the money out of that and putting it in your pocket, right? Because then they got a bill to pay you for a new system. Bro. Yeah, so but, like, if, but if you see, here's the thing. This is the breakdown. Okay. Here's our comfort fucking specialist. He's fucking sales. Well, I'm just going to say, like, before nah, you go off, in the you're tangent, right. Um, yeah. Go, <laughs> you the right the guys in the chat, when do you, when do you put your foot down and just say you need a new unit? Um, now, now go ahead, Jake. Now go, Kurt. Well, this, this is stemming from a 20-year-old unit that I fixed the other day. What? It had a you visible... You scumbag. It had a visible <laughs> leak. 
that was easily repairable. And, and it was working before. And it mm -hmm. was working before. And in fact, I had pushed in the contactor and I knew everything else worked. I gave them the option of a new system mm -hmm. because it's 20 years old. Mm -hmm. And I said it was approaching $2,000. I'm going to tell you now, it was like 1560 something like that. Okay. It wasn't hugely expensive. So they went with the repair. For sure. And um, this guy gave me hell about it. Like, um, I'm not being honest. That's the most honest thing you could do. And again, caveat, you gave them options. I did give them options. So... It's 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 up to them to decide what to do with their money. Now, for something like that, what, you still warranty that thing for a year? I'll warranty my repair for a year. Now, say it develops a leak somewhere else within a month. Will you apply any of that repair to a new unit? I might give them a little break. Okay, that's that's what we do depending how I'm feeling with that customer, it'll be like a seven to 30 day, you know, like, Hey, you know, I just want, you know, cause this might get you through next two, three years. If it doesn't, Hey, here's your option in 30 days. If you decide, you know, well, you know, normally and, when I'm replacing a part, that part is under warranty for a year. Right. But my labor is only under warranty for 30 days. Oh, okay. Yeah. We warranty our work for a year. Okay. So I have, I haven't always stuck to that. Like on sometimes 90 days, if the mm -hmm. same thing happens again, yeah, I'll fix it. The biggest one that we have an issue with warranty. And it's like, I haven't had the issue recently, but, um, train lines, like, you, know, like you clear it and it's, you have it cleared, but, Shit, two and a half months later, that shit backs up. You're like, damn. Go get you some algae tablets. Yeah, no, I we do. We, you know, we got the. I think ours is the Surety brand, right? That's what we use. That's what our supply house has. But it's that still help, dude, it's, that helps with the callbacks on those. It's the, it hasn't been as as bad, but but yeah, that will be the one that's just like, man, do you really like? I was just here. Do I charge him for yeah, it again? I have some commercial ones that just. And it's because they run nonstop. Mm -hmm. Like it just builds up really bad. But um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've always been a repair over replace. But you okay? Good. good. We good. Did you break something? <laughs> yeah, my ass. Uh, nah, just the chair lock fucking came undone. Um. Yeah, like the one, like the one today was the last one that I had was a good example. Like. I believe one compressor was already condemned, right? I had to have been like shorted out or something. It was unplugged. So I didn't even like, I didn't want to plug it back in. Two stage RTU. Um, when I was checking it, it had a short in the board because if I jumped it straight out from the uh, thermostat to the contactor, it, everything turned on and it, it brought on the compressor, the fans, the blower, like everything would come on. As soon as I hooked it back up to the to the board, it would trip the little reset on the transformer. So something there is shorting out, right? Bypassed it to get it by. Uh, that one compressor was bad. The other one started cooling and then it started hissing. So it might be bypassing inside or something. You know, that compressor just sounds shot. I'm like, okay, the, the coil is falling apart. I opened up the blower motor. It was all moldy and crap. I was like, I think this one deserves a new new unit so that's that's where i drew the line yeah like this about it that was, and i told her i was like this thing's on its last leg like if it doesn't work now it's not gonna work because oh, to well. get to get like the board to get to clean it out right and get the other compressed or both compressors at this point like no yeah there, there have been times when i've when i have refused to fix but that's what they were trying to tell you is like you you got to refuse like refuse that one I guess that that you that you that had one didn't wrote. make any sense to me to refuse on that one. Yeah. Um, I've had like 
30 year old systems that I know has a leak in the evaporator coil and then they get a shorted compressor and they want me to replace the compressor. There have been oh. times in a situation similar to that where I have said, um, I don't think it's ethical for me to do this. It's it's not et ethical. And then like, it, it's your, they're, they're just, I, I've learned the hard way. They're just going to say that it was your fault, right? Yeah. You put in the compressor and then something else happens because, and you already knew that there was a leak or something. They're just going to be like, well, you, you know, it was working or it's under warranty or whatever, you know, they're going to blame you. Oh my God. I get that all the time. You just installed a new system. It ought to mm -hmm. be under warranty. And I didn't do nothing but change out a condenser fan motor. <laughs> you did the whole thing. Um, but they I think actually have that. In, I have that in my warranty. notes. That's one of my topics in my notes. What's that? That's one of my topics in the, in my notes. <laughs> Because uh, we have uh, we have a customer that's going to be on uh, on a on a maintenance agreement, I think next week. Uh, we're just like turning into a whole maintenance company at this point, and everybody's been going for for it lately. You need to hire so, somebody now, huh? You might need to hire somebody. That, that's another topic on my list. <laughs> um, I, I'll I'll refer to that when I get to the call we had on Monday, but. Um, this customer, I've been telling them, right? Like, I don't, we haven't cleaned out those coils in probably like years. Right. So like, we're trying to tell them like, well, they need to be cleaned out. You're getting high head pressures. You're getting, uh, they're tripping out because of the heat wave that comes through. Right. And I'm like, you're just calling me out to do a cleaning and then like do a full check. Like everything's adding up when we could just be on the roof doing the whole maintenance, you know, it benefits them. Right. And we find anything else wrong with it. We'll, we'll, you know, write it up or fix it. But, uh, they, they, they try to pull that on me. They were like, you were, you just cleaned them. You were just here. I was like, no, the hell not. Right. So now that I do YouTube and I'm, I'm trying to get into the company cam thing now, I haven't downloaded it yet, but I want to try it for this reason, because I take a lot of pictures and I, I started uh, putting the location on like on my iPhone, right? So I can go to a picture, see the time, date, and location. And that's how I keep track of everything that I do now. So I want to try to do the company cam like for the uh, other guys, right? Have them all like upload whatever they were doing for the day uh, to company cam or whatever. But I went to go look through my photos and it had been like two and a half years since I did the last maintenance on it, right? I was like, sure, I had just been here. It was two years ago, dude. But they love to pull that on you. Yes, they do. Or somebody will tell you, um, you just installed it. it sh everything should be under warranty. They don't think they should have to pay anything. And yeah, we've had to make four, that clear. And it's been four years. Yes, your parts are under warranty, but yeah, you still got to pay me my labor. Yeah. Yeah, we had that issue when we started. Like everybody wanted everything for free. Sorry, just doing some some work shit right now, just communicating back and forth. You still got calls? Nah. Um just some scheduling for tomorrow. Talking to George. Uh trying to get um an estimate set up for somebody who had uh, another local company with the uh, infinity they want an infinity but we can't i don't think we can get the infinities can you get the evolution is that the ones that they go up to 24 yeah i don't know oh i know there's I another one, i ain't one of their dealers i don't move enough equipment for them to consider me yeah exactly now i have like calls piling up i have Hopefully tomorrow I can catch up on everything, but man, like ever since it, it just, it got hot, hundred degree weather, like can't keep up. I am purposely removing some of my calls just so I can have a little peace of mind. Yeah. Cause we, we've all been talking. I'm going it's crazy been, over here. Yeah. 
Sorry, guys. Sorry, I feel like a, a douche. <laughs> well, I want to tell you, y'all know that I used to do um, home warranty calls. When we, when we first hit 90 degrees, <laughs> I was so busy. And these guys on these home warranties were just absent for six months. And all of a sudden, they're sending me four calls a day. You're just like, bam. And part of me wants to be appreciative. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't like them haggling with me over prices. And I don't like being so stressed about getting my regular customers when I'm having to get their customers. I just told them to go jump off a cliff until I call them back. <laughs> Good, my man. Give them hell, son. I we, did, we are, and I've got more peace of mind. I'm not so stressed. Yeah. We only do what? warranty work when it when we have like no work, because then and, like you get that out of hand. Yeah, and and now if one of my customers calls, I can get them same day. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm glad I did it. To tell you the truth, it's just one of those things that gets you by, I guess. It helps in slow times for sure. Yeah. But that's the one is like, man, you get overwhelmed with not overwhelmed, I guess, but you're like. All right, like I got all this. You can guarantee me this. So like you know the guaranteed workload that's basically go come from it, and what you can. But you're never gonna hire somebody else again. You said right. Um, <laughs> it's I hard, become, right? Like right now, you're just like, damn, dude. Like, if I become physically unable to do some of it, I may hire a help with a head of hair like that. I don't see that happening for many decades, <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> oh. My man. Are you trying to get a job? Hey, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, if houses, what you, the damn fucking treasure trove you bought for a house, I would love a job up there. And <laughs> that fucking, that's incredible. Shoot. Yeah. Anyways, what up? What other topics you got? Anybody saying anything good in there? Chat, chat. Yeah, oh, I haven't been able to keep up. Yeah, I don't, I can't see it. That, and that's how we are with the uh, with the maintenance. Like I don't want to say no to it, but it's guaranteed money. So yeah, yeah it's I'll just give it give it to my brother. So you know, <laughs> I know we've all talked about guys like you know the companies that offer the not like the twenty nine dollar ones and all that shit. We were offering a uh, seventy nine dollar tune up special, and it's just a tune up, bro. Like it isn't like a full blown maintenance because with the new company and all that shit, trying to and it it really hit. It took off. We definitely got customers in the database. The problem was, you know, fucking when the calls were coming, we got these damn stupid ass seventy nine dollar ones. You know what I mean? Kind of <laughs> bites you in the ass. But it was it was it was definitely good to get in front of a lot of customers in the market we want to get into. I know we talked about like, do you think it's a scam? Do you think it's not? Like, I think seventy nine dollars is at least worth getting you there. Um, I don't know what y'all's thoughts. That, that to, I'm I'm assuming because I've never had to do anything like that. Our only e equivalent is like our maintenance agreements, where it's like, depending on how many RTUs are up there, um, it's between like three fifty and five hundred a, a store, mm -hmm. right? And we try to do as much as we can with it. Is that for the year? So, uh, it's uh one of them is twice a year. Um, the other one I think is the one we're we're negotiating with. I'm not sure how. How often they want it so it's twice a year and then like the one that that wants us to start next week we're trying to lower the price for them right so it's it's like you know we'll clean the coils you know make mm -hmm. sure we, we take it apart clean clean it up real nice evaporator drains uh if it, if it needs belts or anything you know tighten the belts you know stuff like that not to go too crazy with it because we are up there checking um usually three to four RTUs it can't be there all day, but that's just to get us for sure. For us, bro. for us, it's just to get us consistent work and, and a pay every few months. Right. Of course. But this one that wants us to start next week, they also want us to do the refrigeration. So then I got to be like, okay, now we got to incorporate that into the payment and all that. But it's, I guess it's a little different on residential because you guys are just trying to get in the door. Right. Mm -hmm. so like 79 bucks i think is like you're just you're just getting out there you do whatever you need to do inspection well, cleaning it doesn't take much 
a $79 special is really just to get in the door, find other problems if you can, and create a new customer. Mm -hmm. um, because my full maintenance is like $169 and then $80 for each additional unit that's at the same address. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I mean. Cause like, even with us, when we're trying to give like this other customer the cheapest option, right. It's like, it's, it's not a full blown maintenance. Right. It's not, yeah. it's not all the details. It's not the complete disassembly. It's just, you know, clean out the coils. Like I said, check belts and, and stuff like that. Oh, um, God damn it. <laughs> so I think 79 bucks is not horrible, but the ones yeah. that I don't, I don't understand the ones that are like 29 bucks. Yeah, those... Dude, I'm going to tell you, back when I had employees and I was trying to grow the company, I ran a TV special for $49. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we... And, and um, it created a lot of phone calls and service calls. And I found that a bunch of them were people that needed a service call. For sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight they up. They didn't want to pay a diagnostic fee, but my call was $49. And I actually got some change outs out of it. Yeah. No, that's that's what ended up happening realistically. We got I think at least three from it. So it, it was beneficial in that aspect. And again, getting there, you treat it the same way. You just build that rapport with the customer, you know what I mean? Regardless, and you still just do the same quality of work. The uh right. customer service, how you treat them. That's it, man. That I way mean, they call you back. Yeah, so it's like, hey, trying to create a customer, you might not make a lot of money off of them that day, but maybe right. when something does fail, they may call you. Back. They at least know that exactly. Because it's like that that stupid one that I did a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> we'll call it, you man. from now on. We're proud of you. <laughs> what happened a couple weeks ago? Did I miss it? No, the the one that that, that you uh, didn't want to do R twelve compressor that I didn't want. to Oh do. yeah, yeah. So now, now they're super happy. Now they're like, whenever we have a call, you know, we'll call you. My man. <laughs> that's why. That's why you do those uh, those calls you don't want to do. Straight up, dude, man. We did. Uh, so the past two days, we did it. Um, duck, a duck out. Yeah, and it was uh definitely you know hundos. I mean, right now it's ninety two out. So you got to think what the peak day was, but. The big homie Q did a mostly demo yesterday while we ran service and we went back there and I helped him and today we we banged it out. So didn't want to do it, but <laughs> dude, I have been seeing on Instagram what looks like pre wrapped duck work. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm hmm Well, I used to do that like for commercial and stuff. It's like a um, metal duck that's got a thin bubble wrap. It's not, I don't know if it's bubble wrap, but it doesn't look like R8 right. insulation. Um, I keep seeing them on Instagram. I'm like, where are you getting duck work that's pre wrapped like that? We used, well, we used to get it pre wrapped, but it was the like the brown insulation duck. I don't know what, to be honest, what fucking R value it was back then, but it was, we would go to a specific metal shop. And as for it, obviously it was either not or it would be because of the cost. But we would always like for commercial spots get it pre wrapped. And then we would just slam it. <clears throat> oh, we got, uh, mechanical <laughs> <laughs> mechanical environments just got a new van. Um how's Shout your uh, out. how's your minivan doing? It's fucking stupid. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, what are you doing for ladders? You can't well, put big ones on there. Thank God, bro. <laughs> That's my excuse. That's my out right there. Like, I can't fucking do it. What do you want me to do? You know what I mean? We, we, got we have a, is it a connector or what is it called? It is an NV200. Yeah, it's like a connect. Now, I can, I could I was put like, a our, ladder. Ours has a ladder rack on it. Well, you know what? Some people don't want ladder racks. I might be <laughs> one of those guys. I ain't no, got no I'm, ladder rack on mine. <laughs> Yeah, we got um not a plan is that we'll outfit it. Uh but we don't do a lot of stuff where we need anything but, uh, more than an eight footer at the most. Oh, they're they're asking for the uh high roof ladder rack recommendation. 
They're expensive. I the one that. I had, it had the bar in it, and then you just unlocked it, and then it. I don't remember the name. It was outfitted with. Is it Adrian Steele or Addison? God damn it! It's Adrian Steele. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I did. That's why I asked, bro. You know. Yeah, my, that, mine has an Adrian still one too. That's what ours was outfitted, but it, you can put the pole in it for the high top, and it just brings it down to the side. That was that's the way to fucking go. Now, but I got Adrian Steele, and I got a Kurt Hitch. <laughs> the best. Mike says Jake don't need no ladders. That's right. It's like you know what? I think this call is going to go to the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I got a rack on mine because I can't fit it in the shop if I put a ladder rack on. I got clearance because y'all know I got the mini so I could pull it in the garage. And um it just saves on gas because I was dri- driving so much. But mm-hmm. um I got about 12 inches, like so I could get just the one without the the little legs on the side. And yeah, we'll make it work. Um, or I'll get a little giant. Oh, okay, because uh, Kurt, do you ever have to get on a rooftop? Yeah, or on a on a on a roof? Just um, run back to the shop and pick up a ladder. Or? Yeah, I can fit a twenty four foot extension ladder in my van. My man got a um, fucking dashboard, bro, because he don't have the door, don't you? You run <laughs> you run it all the way up, don't you? It, it goes through the door a little bit. The partition wall. <laughs> yeah, Kurt's like, yeah, we just we riding dirty. And then I got like a. Like a ten foot step ladder or something, I can just throw it in the back if I need it. Yeah, because you. Or if I need a ladder, I go back to shop and get it. Super extended, like one. Yeah, you got the big boy. Mine wasn't as big as that. I've seen some of the. I don't know what they're they're not the the ones that that I have like the extension because I have a twenty four foot one I think. Twenty eight is what I like. But I've seen those other ones. uh, I guess they fold or something. They got like the little giants, maybe. And I actually saw somebody get on a a pretty high roof with one. I was like, I don't know what size it was. Well, mine's four foot, and it'll extend to like a sixteen foot ladder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Because if that the one I saw, yeah, the one I saw was like it has to be, you know, sixteen to eighteen feet that they that they got up to. I use that thing for a lot of what I do. Just that. It's like a little giant. It's just a different name brand. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's what's going to have Kirk go have that shit. Like, that's why the, the partition's there, bro. But it's on the floor. It ain't going nowhere. Until something crazy happens and that shit just. <laughs> have you ever uh, seen or. Well, have you ever seen a ladder uh, in the middle of the uh, expressway or. Yeah. You know, I'm guilty. Of not strapping a ladder down, yes. I, I think it happened when I had started to with one with somebody that I rode with, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yep. I was, and then I and then I've seen it truck. other times too. I was behind a pickup truck and saw it come out the back of the pickup truck and go skidding all along the road. And... Not yeah. Now I always I always end up pulling over. Like, did I strap? my ladder because like now i just have flashbacks of yeah because i've seen them yeah that's not a good thing if it comes off just let it get let it ride well now now i have the the rack that comes down and kind of secures it so it's not that bad true story or we can get a scissor lift that's what i want what do you get what, bro we just Rinse trailer it, it around <laughs> now i'm gonna buy one and just trailer it everywhere you go. Yeah, like yeah, well, it was. Fuck. Oh Bro, man, we need a scissor lift for this one. So let me go get it. <laughs> Might as well use it. I mean, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit would be hilarious. I tell you that. Wait, wait, Mike. Mike had a forty. Go into the highway. Don't. Don't turn around. Never put the name on the ladder for that. Yo, facts, bro. <laughs> just keep going. Like, I... yo. Oh my god. Love it. <laughs> You know, uh, I had to put a 40 foot step ladder on the roof of my van one time, and that shit was so big, I could barely get it up there. <laughs> that is a big, heavy ladder. Yeah, I had a fiber, what is it, fiberglass one? Oh, uh, fuck you. And Mm-mm. I hated using that thing. And then I finally just switched to aluminum. Oh, yeah. 
it's yeah, like a world of heavy. difference. My pops, yo, I swear to God, he just loved carrying around a 40 footer, like, because he was just like, yeah. he just thought he was fucking cool. I get like, okay, pop, we get it. Like, you can carry a 40 foot fucking the fiberglass <laughs> one. That bitch is heavy as shit. And I'm like, yeah, and, yeah. I, and I the don't sun, care. the sun eats it up. It just comes apart. And, and it like, gets all dry. And then your arms, yeah, I'm done. I was like, screw this. <laughs> I had that for a few years. I was like, nah. I got I got plenty of ladders. I mean, I used to have like three trucks going, so I got lots of ladders. I have I just have the well no, I still have a six foot. I don't use it that much anymore. Do either of you carry a four foot for like a I just foot? yeah, I just got one not too long ago because I got tired of getting down the six foot. Because I only need to reach, you know, something I know by a ceiling or something. Those Facts. little four foots can be convenient all day. You know what I like now? Those little like they're they're like like step stools almost, but like they got like three, and they're really thin. They're not like full on like like the shit you get at Costco. I don't know what. They, oh oh oh! oh I know just, it falls out. Yeah, and it's just like, but it's so mm. thin. It actually fits between my side door and behind the front seat. Excuse me, and. uh I don't know. It's just light as hell. It's not all bulky, and you can set stuff on it more than a regular ladder. Mm. I think I, I saw four foot. Uh, my brother uses that a lot, and I was like, I think I need one. You know, a two foot is really nice too. I had a two foot one. Yeah, but you... it, it, I couldn't reach some stuff, so I was like, no. Nah, so you're just like, damn it, <laughs> a two footer. Yeah, bro, like two little steps. Technically, I guess it would be like. Oh. <laughs> Because like I work on walk-in boxes, right? So the it's mounted to the ceiling. So sometimes I just and that's need all reach, you like, need. Yeah, something, and it worked, but like it wasn't real. Uh, it wasn't real secure. If I'm at the. I sometimes I have to get on the very top of it. He was like, "I'm going for it." Yeah, and I was like, "No, I'll just get a four foot." Oh, that's the one piece of heavy equipment that I bought. That um, I'm glad I did. Is a forklift. Oh, uh, my man got the forklift. Yeah, I bought a forklift to help save my back. I was trying to load equipment and unload it. At the stop by hand, you try putting a package unit on a trailer when it don't want to go. I kind of want to up, upgrade or, or buy it because we use, obviously we have a, a pallet jack and stuff like that, but we have we always rent a genie lift for, for things. Oh, I know. Know. Yeah, genie lift. We like, had one. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I just I just want to buy one because we use it so much. Yeah. A genie lift. I'm not sure what a genie lift is. Right? A duck well, jack. Yeah, duck jack. You can call it that. I got a duck jack, but I don't use it much. Oh, so dangerous, bud. Send it over here. <laughs> <laughs> like when we put up when we put up uh walk-in evaporators and yeah, that'd be perfect. Sometimes yeah. we have to get something up to eye level or put a little piece of plywood under if I think what if you're putting like a table out of it. You're putting an air handler above a drop ceiling. Yeah, those things are clutch. You really need one. Facts. Oh yeah, we have we have one. Oh, we have a couple, but we have one that I just I pray to God. No, two. I pray to God that they never need a new furnace or a new uh, indoor unit because I'm not getting in the drop ceiling to do that. Yeah, oh, I, I installed one that was over 12 feet high, and I told the man, I said, "What?" Now that it's installed, if we ever have to replace the evaporator <laughs> pool or blow yeah. rider, I can't do it. You have to call somebody else. Yeah. Um, one of my guys did the blower motor for one. I was like, bless bless your, your heart, man, because I wasn't going to do that one. I know. You get like a 10-foot ladder standing on the very top of it, and then you're just like this. And if you're not used to it, your arms just get tired. I know. It's... It's a little bit sketchy to do it, and it's a lot. I don't. Even, I don't even like clearing the drains out of those things. Like when when I have to get up there. I know it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Do your restaurants have the folding stools? Uh, they have steps. I don't know if he just wrote it twice. They have a. Uh, I'm lucky. That's why I never bring my six foot ladder down. Restaurants always have a six a six foot ladder and a uh, a little step ladder, so I end up using theirs all the time. True story. 
Oh, and then they, uh, the CO2 lift is, I've seen a lot of guys use that one too. CO2 lift. What's the, what's that? I forgot. I don't know what it's rated for, but it's like a, it looks like a flat piece of plywood and then uh, just a, an extension underneath it. And it, it like actually like, it yeah, bounced and it kind of. I didn't know how it worked, but then I finally saw somebody use it and it's a, mm -hmm. you have to attach it to a CO2 bottle or something. And it'll yeah, it'll yeah. act like a hydraulic lift. Yeah, it'll get like, and it has like a, just like a single. Shoot. I think it's just a, a pole, right? What we got? It's, it's an air piston. Thanks, Bay. What is it? A telescopic lift. Let's go. Oh. I've seen a lot of people use that one too, but I just I need to I need to look into them. Hey, boy, you're early. Yeah. Uh, now I got my stupid dog in here. <laughs> <laughs> He came here. Here. Maybe maybe your dogs can hang out. This is this, this is my wife's dog. I don't, I don't accept this old motherfucker. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I got my my girl. This is Nash. He's got balls though too. Kurt, check these things out. Look, come on, now. hey hey. Stop. <laughs> let, let, let them see. Let them see them things. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing but a butthole. <laughs> whoa whoa whoa! Easy killer. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> so how how has okay? Let's change subjects. How <laughs> has uh y'all's work week been? Because did it warm up enough for y'all out there? Are you are you fucking eating right now? Rude. <laughs> Am I supposed to starve myself? I'm sorry. I'm, actually, I'm super hungry too, man. Because I was working late. Um. Has it been hectic for you guys? A little bit. Yeah. But How been, hot is it? It's not that hot here. We're we're like we're hitting about ninety degrees. Jesus, we're like at 110, 115. It oh. it felt really nice today. It was hundred degrees today, and windy. It felt mm -hmm. so nice after the week that we had. You're the best. Why are y'all having Thank such you. heat waves? It's not even summer yet. As we text us, dude. Yeah, we 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 in the south, Kurt. Sorry, dude. wait a minute. Not Flor south Florida's issue, but well, Florida's pretty. Similar. We're we're hitting mid nineties, upper nineties. It'll be the high ninety eight on Sunday. I live in South Georgia. I consider myself in the south. Ooh. No, you're dude, definitely you're, south, bro. Yeah, you're <laughs> but I'm south, a peninsula. Dude. But you get all the all the weather from the north too. Uh, we do get. Tropical weather, and we get weather from up north blowing in, and sometimes it makes for violent weather. You ain't too far. Oh, if you guys want to see the CO2 lift in action, Mechanical Environments has some videos on it. I need to check Solid. it out. Anyway, um, we had a, what I was talking about earlier, we had a two changeouts that I just regretted that we had to do. Um, it was at a nursing home. Right. They're cheap. It's one of our guys. When he came on board, they really liked him from his previous company. So they came with him. He brought, you know, some work over and stuff. That's good, though. Well, that's the only way he got a job because I was like, we, we're we not Bro, paying you. You, you got to guarantee us a certain amount of revenue, son. Come on. <laughs> we had that. Well, he's he's one of the ones that left us before and kind of screwed us. So but he's a nicer one. The other one will never hire again. Um, anyway, so we did this nursing home, did two change outs. It's the one that had those crazy uh, ducks that were on the roof that were all like, mm -hmm. you know, the crazy ones that we had. Uh, and they wanted us to keep the duct, just replace the unit. We made it work. I didn't get to stay till the end, but we made it work. That day we had a heat wave, a heat advisory, whatever you call it, like really bad. Uh, me and my brother are pretty good about being, about being in the sun and, and, you know, we cover ourselves, we have the hat, the sleeves, everybody wears sleeves at our, at our work now. Um, are they, um, what kind of sleeves do you wear, bud? If anybody wants any arm sleeves, we got reliable, uh, sleeves for sale. Some people bought some recently, but quick little plug. Well, let's go. Speaking of huh? sleeves, you know what's really good to go with those sleeves? 
Oh my god, you gonna plug in socks? Damn it, Kurt. No, I was gonna go with the Trollco shirt that you're wearing, bud. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you could also get the Camel City socks, just saying. Uh, you can get the arm sleeves at reliablehvcr.net. You can get troll clothing with a discount. It's What's a discount? 10, Kraus 10. Kraus 10, save you some. You get this oh, that's, sweet hat. that's from them too? Yeah. I guess that, oh, that's okay. like their big old tag like that and the dirty hands clean money. And then uh, they, Kurt, go ahead and show my shirt, Kurt. Oh, he has the, the hoodie too? Bro, why you got the hoodie? Were you cold today? <laughs> Dude, I am the HVAC guy. It's cold in my house. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> hey, what kind of system are we working with over there? Oh, uh, old carrier. Oh, that's um, right. That's right. Three times. Saw you use those VCRTs on that though the other day. Yeah. I'm thinking about putting uh, a soft start on it just to see how it does. Dude, that's. Right, that's the that's the perk is just to see if it's even they're made. I think if I'm not mistaken, manufactured in Georgia. Oh the right. US. I'll send you the one at just, I'll just send you pics. You know I do a lot with generators and <laughs> that's stuff. That's our line, bro. I'm putting a soft start on it before I possibly put on a Bosch. Mm. Oh, okay. So you're thinking Bosch, huh? Maybe. What intrigues you about the Bosch? Um. <laughs> Wait, don't you have a green? I have got a green. Green on my other house. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, do you still have that house? Yeah. Are you renting okay. it? No. You going to? Maybe. Okay, to Jake. Sorry. Tell <laughs> right <laughs> to your next employee. <laughs> yeah, we can we can combine businesses, bro. Come on now. It's no, the merger uh, of the century. <laughs> All of our stuff's still over there. I ain't had time to go get it. True story. So, the Bosch. What's your What's your initial thoughts on one thing? One thing to put that on in. All right. The thing that I like about them is they're twenty four volt controlled with regular it, thermostats. Like non communicating. Non communicating. Yes, mm -hmm. I like that. What sear? Because I know all their. Even from 14 and up, they're all inverter. Um, I don't know enough about them yet, but I need to start doing some research. I, 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 spoke, I spoke to a guy who had a Bosch, a Bosch package unit on his trailer, mm -hmm. and he's been installing them for like three or four years, he told me, and um, he loves them. He, was, he his, said, was his name Dennis? Was it Dennis? No. Oh. All right. Well, you gotta let you gotta let me know because I I've I don't know if to put a Gree or a Bosch now mm -hmm. in my house. Um, I like the Grees. They're also twenty four volt controls like that. Solid. Uh, what I would like to know is if you could do a two stage thermostat with the Bosch because you can't do a two stage thermostat with the Gree. Is the Gree variable? Oh, yeah. It's full inverter variable. Hmm. It, but it's not communicating. It's 24-volt control. Interesting. No special stat? You can use any stat? Any, so how would you be able to control, like, the dehumidification is through? It don't have a dehumidification. Uh. It will lower the humidity because it can ro run at a lower speed. But um, it has no de-home control on it. That was what I always liked. Like you would do the enhanced de-home on the, um, the trains. They're really good. They're just dropping that thing low, bro. And just pulling it out. That's what I was curious. It was a good, good. Uh, you can hit hit up homeboy there. Environmental. He's he put a few in. They're smart. They know they know what they're talking about. Well, with the green, you have a side discharge. Right. Which means your top is covered, less leaves getting down in it. But with the Bosch, you have a top discharge. So you will have those same problems with most traditional units with debris yeah. getting down in What do y'all think about them garbage can lids that go on top of units? Like, 
It, oh, to when the lid, the oh, yeah, when the, the 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 motor blows, it opens it, and then when it, it just shuts down like a garbage can. Where'd you see that? The fuck if I what did you have it or something? No, the oh. DIY guy. Oh fuck! You got to be Damn it! No, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, <laughs> nah, dude, I seen them joints like a hot minute ago. Um, before he, him, it, had, it was, a, a, as a matter of fact. As a matter Maryland. of fact, he was reposting that water one again too. <clears throat> Lovely. <laughs> I hope he does really well. Yes, yes. The little fucking sprinkler fan mister that goes on your system. Yo, that's gonna fucking drop the temperature, bud. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean if you like, fuck. Oh, you know something? I was watching You're the, an asshole. <laughs> I was watching the Michigan heating guy. Mm -hmm. And he was working on a condenser where somebody had built like a little lean to that came right to the top of the condenser. I mean, it, like this is the condenser come all the way to the top of it. So the hot air is just recirculating back down. in. Oh, it. Like, like I thought whoever did that. Yeah. But oh, it man. keeps all the debris out of it. Yeah, the top of the compressor is just all fucking heat sinked and everything. It's like, yeah, it's probably a little warm. Did I, I send you guys that TikTok about that? Dude, hold on, let me check. There was hey. somebody that had one under a deck, and they were trying to explain. There, it's another DIY like type of channel. I don't know if I sent it to you guys, but I was like, I could not. It was very hard for me to get through that video. You know something <laughs> I, that I have noticed about air condensers that are in a place where they don't get rainwater, they are covered in dust. I mean, just eat up with dust in the coals on top of them everywhere. And they need cleaning, it seems like, more more often than the other ones do. Mm. True story. I don't know um, in the systems. So um, I think I was talking about my Monday change out, right? Yeah, get to <laughs> it. We're tired of fucking you dragging this out. <laughs> <laughs> So me and my brother are used to it, right? And then my dad kept popping up on the roof. And then I, at a one point, he had to <laughs> lay down. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, get get off the damn roof, right? So it. like, we finally got him down because I was like, no, sit up. You know, let's get you down the ladder. Because he was up there. He was already like hunching over and laying oh, down. Hot, bro. Damn. And then like that, the whole point was to get him back to the van and, you know, let him enjoy the air condition and all that. Mm -hmm. I had to go run to Home Depot to get some some like material and stuff i come back i get on the roof help the guys because they were they had <laughs> ran out to get something the the <laughs> <laughs> they, they had run out to get something i had to run out and get something and then i turned around and my dad's up on the damn roof again so i was like dude <laughs> that's like hey get the fuck off the roof <laughs> yeah so Man. that was a that was a fun day it was like super hot my cousin uh he's a helper he's a part-time helper uh that comes over for a few days every week or every other week and he's really good at it i think he's trying to get his like his whole thing like his epa is schooling and everything right on but he has a good job that he has at a at a warehouse for a grocery store ACB? benefits everything yeah benefits everything so he used to work at a supply house and then he worked over there but whatever he's trying to get back into it and he's pretty good about doing the work that we do Mm -hmm. he was up there throwing up and shit so it was just a Dude, hot ass day we we're up there all day sounds like your dad's gonna die doing what he loves yo but you know i have to tell him to, to you know uh take a back seat you know yeah, like don't that, worry dude you want to live stream this just i'll just put this fuck live stream of, uh <laughs> do an independent link what is it like a private link send that bitch to him be like and set it up on your phone and he can sit in a truck and watch everything that's gonna be me when I'm old. I ain't gonna be able to let it go. But you know what? Yeah, my pops. That's what I was thinking about recently with with what we do and stuff. I'm like, maybe I should be looking to be more of a supervisor. You know, as I get older, because I don't know. My um, my dad worked with his dude Jack, bro. Jack, Christ, when I knew Jack, he was damn eighty six. Motherfucker still doing change outs, hopping them bitches like. Look good as hell. Go skiing and everything. He was the type of dude that would lick and fucking do the electrical. 
like with us. Mr. I talk about this with, <laughs> I did this shit with we was talking about it with George. Like, yo, if whenever we get to the point where it's like, oh, you gotta retire or whatever, you lie likely in the next six months just to croak and fucking die just because you know what I mean? And it's just it, we well, do been, enjoy been, what we do. Oh yeah, yeah. But I would like to send somebody else on the roof when I'm tired and, and bro. Sweaty. So we, that change out we did two days ago. So like we did the change out, then we had the duck job. So I was like, fuck this, dude. And duck the, the change out just wasn't going right. I have a video about it, dude, but I fucked my arm all up. Like I strained a ligament and all this shit, and then just didn't go right. Didn't end up getting home till like nine o'clock. And then the next day you had the duck job and then calls and then you duck job again today. But in the day, homie stepped on a fucking the water pipe in the attic today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, dude, he was like two inches of water in the house and everything. Oh, so it's like it's just like, like in the morning he texted his big old. It was cute. He was like. Today's gonna be a great day, you know. I mean, just being real positive and shit. And it's like, uh, like it was. Uh, Damn. I got a picture of it, but Dude, yeah, I just, was doing a change out. I had somebody helping me, and there was a fire sprinkler up. Just fucking. There was a fire sprinkler right up above where he was welding. Oh, that man! And he busted it. Is an apartment complex too? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and instantly, instantly, there was just water everywhere. Yep. Bro. And um, I knew to go outside and turn off the fire sprinklers. There's a little closet. Yeah, man. Good for you. And I was like, able to knowing. find it and turn it off, and we squeegeed the water out. But man, that was yeah. awesome. That's that always my fear because I work in I work in hospitals where there's sprinkler systems everywhere. Oh yeah. That's yeah, I hate it. But don't get them too me. hot. Well, you know they no, but I, like the the equipment I work on, reaching the reaching coolers and freezers, everything's on top. The compressor, evaporator, mm -hmm. everything, and then they're like a, a foot above right that there. is a sprinkler. Just yeah, get get a wet rag, wrap it around it real, you know, real good, and then we'll get you a fan and blow the air off of it. We or something. would take booties like the and then tighten those around the top too, with the wet rag inside of it to try and just keep it. But yeah. those, I have a, I forget what it was, a short or a, something on Instagram where I say what temperature those things heat up and burst at because it was on one of the pot, uh, HVAC R&D. Shout out to the homie. Uh, they had somebody on there that brought it up. And I was well, like, what's the temperature? Fuck if I know, dude. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to have just, yeah. oh, shit. I happen to have just been watching or listening to that podcast. That we gotta day. watch the video. Yeah, go back to my Insta. Hey, go to my Instagram, <laughs> and uh, I don't like. And yeah, I don't. But I was listening to it that day, and I happened to be changing a coil in a closet that had one, and I was like, "Just so you know, they <laughs> don't need no. this." Up. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that that one's got like a thousand something likes. <laughs> I don't know uh, who he's referring to, but thanks for thanks for the videos. Wasn't me. He fixed his AC today. <laughs> well, good. Oh. But man, like, uh, yeah, some help always helps. Anyway, um, I don't show they, people how to fix shit. I show them how to fuck it up. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> man, you're you're but, nice. You're nice, man. That that day that we had our uh, changeouts, shout out to our our crane guys, man. Shout out, bro. They got, they they're Boom. super cool. Like I, I I love that. I love that company. Uh, they always they always help us out on on those days, and you know they take take the equipment, the old equipment. And we let them take it. Oh, that's mighty. And, and they discount the uh, how much they how much you charge how much uh, how much they charge you? Not much. I I can't remember what we paid them last time, but. My dad writes out the checks. I, I, it was, it's, it's not much, dude. Um, they like help us out. Fifty. No, it's less than that for us. Um, it was like five something, or I don't know, Damn. somewhere you around know, there. Around here, a train can go. Excuse me, a crane can go from two hundred to five hundred dollars an hour, and then they yeah. may have like a 
two hour minimum for sure oh, that's, yeah. what, that's what we got and it's the ones we use and it drive time is included in that so well these guys i think they they do ac work or they've done it before they always hop they're down, on it yeah. get on the roof help us with the duct what um uh, yeah they were silly because it was a rtu right so we were doing that that side discharge for the vent and everything because mm -hmm. the vent came out of the roof so they patched up the bottom they you know did all the Damn. the putty the pookie whatever you call it <clears throat> uh the tape uh they helped us put the duct in and they did a lot of the prep work down there down tip them at the crane huh yeah tip them boys damn oh yeah we they, we take care of them they take care of us that's and, awesome uh, they were down there getting it prepped while mm -hmm. we took like a little you know five ten minute break on the roof that's dope and those guys just like go to work and they hop on the roof and they help us you know set that's it in cool right there mm -hmm. i was like man I, I really appreciated it that day because it was really bad and then um and then i've had another video where we do a change out at the uh at the island the beach over here and they were the ones that helped us with the curb adapter that day too like they, they just the dude loves to work and i i really you know, i really appreciate it hell yeah dude <clears throat> i like that and i think and i think my dad was talking to him about like some future uh, <laughs> ventures yeah <laughs> like hey uh yeah, because this time they helped a lot, man. It was like, damn. Well, no, no kidding. It sounds like you're gonna need to hire somebody just to do your preventive maintenance. Well, man, we were having a discussion about it this week, and some guys. Did you, didn't you do that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, don't we're having a, a discussion, and then like I've had some comments like, "Oh, you you need help," you know, and I've had guys that want to come over and ask if i'm hiring and stuff but like i don't know we were having a discussion my brother is, is kind of in charge of the maintenance part of it but we're getting like slammed and uh we're probably gonna have to hire at some point for sure i just don't know how to do it right like do you get a, a young guy that you train but then you're gonna have to be with them all the time or do you well hey and get that experience tech well, for I, maintenance I, level shit, dude. That's just you know, it's more so entry level. Like, but you know, I mean, you can train somebody if you. Well, this is the discussion we had. Like, you can do a maintenance tech and train them in your <laughs> procedure on repetition. Say within a couple weeks, right? Just just maintenance, and then doing yeah. the repetition of the same shit. Not like, hey, we're gonna do the the ice machine today, refrigeration, and then a rooftop, like. Then you're just like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, just do like strictly ice machines or strictly rooftops. And then, you know what I mean? Well, you know, if you if you hire a seasoned tech, they ain't going to want to do maintenance. maintenance. <laughs> that's that's an expensive maintenance. They ain't well, that, that, yeah, well, that's not what I'm true. If I go that route, my brother would do the maintenance because he actually he's okay with it. Okay. And I haven't really like, He's been working with us for a while now, but even with any of the guys that we've had over the years, I'm the one that goes to clean up the mess, right? I go when, when there's a big problem, I go to it and I like kind of how that works, except when we get overwhelmed, but yes, I haven't really, I haven't really had to test him yet. He does a lot of the little stuff oh, and yeah. he enjoys the maintenance. So I take advantage of that. I let him do the maintenance, right? Cause I don't want to do it. Yeah. And uh, he knows, like he's he knows how to do this, and he's gone to school. He went where I went, and all that. But, um, yeah, just you know, one way or another, we might need some extra. I, I told my dad we need, we probably need a whole like extra crew, whether Department. it's like apprentices or whatever, because all of us right now we're all like hurt. Like mm -hmm. my dad had just had his uh his stroke or whatever. My uncle had covid and had all the you know after effects of it mm. he gets winded really easy he still has a lot of uh uh doctor visits and, and stuff that he deals with right and he's a good worker but now he gets tired a lot and then it's it's me and my brother my brother has his own condition i have bad knees and this and that so like 
think we we need a whole new lineup of guys. Just <laughs> yeah, to just, you know what? We need a, a new starting five, bro. Like, hey, where's the sixth man of the year? Like, we need somebody. <laughs> I thought that was going to be my cousin, but he's up there throwing up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, I left one of my first jobs because they, I think they oversell the preventive maintenances. And um, even during the summer, we're still doing preventive maintenance is all the time and i just got so sick of them oh, so i did good. i got tired of them this, uh... <laughs> we well just to fill the schedule you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah we have uh, one yeah. coming up <laughs> <laughs> no i didn't hear that <laughs> i said yo just to fill the schedule though you know what i mean that like if you have like a shit ton of people to, in terms of uh like that you got to at least have moving and that's that's a guaranteed yeah you know that's why it's i get it cuz we don't want to do it either like because it takes away from the other shit but we schedule so, at yeah, least that, two that's happening two. right now with us yeah so and, but my then, option was start my own company and my man and, yeah make their own yeah. damn rules facts bro uh i do them when i see a need or if somebody wants me to yeah i don't sell them no, I'm I, want, I want money so i'm selling it hey <laughs> hey what, what was your revenue last year adrian good enough what was the company <laughs> what was the company's revenue let's talk about it i don't have the numbers in front of me oh. we're not kurt, a million dollar company or anything like that okay kurt what you do gross Every year is between three hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand. Nice. That sounds like close to what we're doing. I think because I always hear people like, "Oh, a million dollar here, a million." I don't do that. Yeah, that's. I want to hit a million this year. We did. Um. Well, we is lightly last year was like four eighty. So, but my profit margin. Yeah, you're golden, bro. It's for the roof. Kurt's like, yeah, you know, it's we got a fifty percent fucking margin here, almost. Oh man, damn. Almost. Yeah, we ain't nowhere yeah, we, near well, that though. <laughs> well, we started going up on prices and making sure yeah, we charge for do, everything. Man. Like, you, and my dad, but my dad's always worried about it. I'm like, just let's just do it, right? And we did it, and nobody batted an yeah, eye, right, bro? Like, you got to think. Like, I mean, we can equate everything. Just what. What was it? I looked at a regulator today. I was going to get one. It was fucking 187. I'm like, I bought the same regulator five years ago for 89 oh, yeah. bucks or something. I'm like, fuck. So it's the, it's the same shit for us, dude. And it, it's not like they're trying to screw you, dude. That's just their price at the, you know what I mean? Where they, they give you a couple of dollars to. Well, not only that, like my dad was always about the um, competitive uh, labor. I'm like, dude, we need to True. charge what we, what we need. Yeah, nah, man, for sure. And it's good. Like, uh, everybody's just, you know. $2,000 for a capacitor. Oh, no. Do what dude, you no, do. minimum's 2500 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how's my my kids going to be able to fucking wear their Gucci slides to the fucking Caymans? <laughs> Where Mike's at, they got 500 k a month. Bro, I know, like, see... How many employees? How big is that goddamn company? What's the? I wouldn't. Damn. <laughs> I mean, that's only six million a year, though. When you look at it, I mean, that's not that much. I mean, right? Is that right? Yeah, that's probably a twenty man operation. I mean, oh, I think he. I'm. A, I'm gonna hit them numbers next year. Ten. Ten techs. Ten okay. techs. Four installers. That's not about right. Four install teams. Four installers. Two teams. Because then it would be two two crews. How? That's fucking good. That's real good. I don't know. Just, I'm all about busy I'm, with that. Yeah, I'm all about like growing this year. Like we need to, you know, level up. Nah, you will, dude. I'm about keeping it small. For sure. No, nah, like you've Keep done fucking small. fantastic with that, bro. I mean. Oh yeah, you got you got two houses, you got a jacuzzi. 
<laughs> oh my god. In the, 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 good, the good thing about no. it is they are paid for. There are no payments on any of that. Nah, dude, that's, that's really awesome. good. I mean, I didn't have all these parakeets. <laughs> <laughs> Take all my damn money. Just let them go and get your dogs. <laughs> Just let them go. That's funny. Just nah, let that... them live in the house. The dogs will take care of that. Hell yeah. That's good. <laughs> oh, before I forget, uh, for anybody that's in the chat, what veto bag would you want or um, would you recommend to somebody? It's a good one. I'm going to leave it at that. Mm hmm. It's a great one. Y'all got y'all got anything else to uh, discuss? Oh, do y'all have any sponsors coming up? I I got a fucking tower fan. I'm doing that damn tower fan. <laughs> I'm getting goddamn seven hundred bucks. <laughs> so guys, just be ready for the video. Well, I got two that I need to do now. Oh. Then do it, damn it. <laughs> well, Kurt, fifty percent margin. You don't got to make your videos. Pop a bear over here. Kids <laughs> got to pay for day camp this summer. Um, somebody sent me a window unit. Mm. I'm either going to install it in my little apartment here at the house. Yeah. Or wait, you got you got a fucking detached apartment at the house. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you could just have what that all set up have? as like an Airbnb, bro. Just making like super secondary income. You're, you're, Jake's you're, just going to show up one of these Yeah, days. right? Hey, <laughs> you got room for five parakeets, two dogs, three kids, and a wife. I'm there. <laughs> it, would, that down, Kurt? it would be a great place for like a college student, I think. Nah, dude, that would be like, seriously, like I, I, I mean, I'm sure you guys got, well, Kurt maybe has customers that have like a little studio apartment or something in their property, maybe. And you can, yeah. I mean, if you have the, if you're not going to utilize it, but continue well, my, window unit. My Boom. thought with the window unit is keep it. And if somebody don't have air conditioning, I can't install a new air conditioner. Backs. In a window unit in their bedroom. Yeah. And um, well, another one, I had a company send me a nice little generator nice. just to do a review, but I'm waiting on a, oscilloscope so i can just measure and show the electricity waves on it mm -hmm. so um i need to do those hell yeah dude i so like go through it. my e email i got uh makeup i got um <laughs> women's clothing <laughs> women's clothing bathing suits those are the ones i just delete like yes to the off the rip yeah <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. I don't know if I've if I've picked up any recently. It's just whatever I have on the on the podcast, honestly. I need oh to my god, bro. Starting a I new think, channel and everything, man. I think we, we both get those <laughs> crazy Chinese products, emails. They want I'm not taking like any your uh, channel is a real good fit for our product. They always get me with that, and I'm like, "What the fuck? Like makeup? Like really?" Yeah, they finna send me a mini split. From one of them companies. You know, one I got, of them, one I of them, your channel the was a great fit for our product, and it was some kind of like a lift for storage in a garage, and I ain't got a garage. <laughs> but you clearly don't watch <laughs> your shop. Um, hello. Well, I got the green mini split that I got you install. Need to install. Install it, bro. Like I'm so busy, I don't even want to think about work after work. You hire somebody. <laughs> what are you doing Mom, I'm gonna make my brother put it in. <laughs> what are y'all doing this weekend? Um, honoring those who have fallen. <laughs> Did you just there... snicker? Memorial Day weekend. I don't know what. No, Kurt. <laughs> that the... was that I'm really... a package unit. What are y'all doing? Okay, I was, I was waiting for for what he was doing. Um, I'm trying to take the weekend off. I'm tired. Oh yeah, I don't work on weekends. Uh, we'll probably figure out. We always just kind of hodgepodge our stuff together. Is Dude, I'm, I'm having to do this on the weekend because I'm about to say your install dates are being pushed out like over two weeks away right now. You're crushed. Like seriously, dude. You like. 
I think we talked about this last time, hiring a part-time type guy. Mm-hmm. No. Damn. Yeah, no, I'm just like, I mean, you're like not overwhelmed because you're you're obviously just, hey, this is when I can get to you. If you can wait till Saturday and it's a package unit, which is nice, that'll be pretty, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's like seamless. I uh, hope so. I'll probably need to pick up some elbows or something because I'm not going to be able to get them on Saturday. True. And then, or, or Monday. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. For sure. I got to go tomorrow and make sure I got everything stocked up because, uh, I'm I'm backed up too. Like I'm hoping to catch up tomorrow, but we'll see. Like oh, um, yeah, fella. I would rather support a good subcontractor that does um installs mm-hmm. than hire somebody. So to like for you, like how do you like how do you find those type of folks? Well, the one I'm Just one of the now? ones is in now used to work for me. Okay. And he quit and went doing something. Okay. But I was kind of glad he quit because it was costing me sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year to keep him on payroll. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's expensive. Including all the stuff. Well, at least you have some like that's that's where we are. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> like you'd want to have at least your you you know, our vehicles show up on the scene and all that stuff. Like, you know what I mean? show our presence in the neighborhood just like damn but like to keep because man like after that install like we ran calls or gonna run calls before and after you know what i mean it, and that's how we've been doing the past few and it's like we ain't gonna be able to do it <laughs> you know what i mean because well, with be- this one guy he's such a good installer if i would show up when i had him working for me mm-hmm. if i would show up and help him set the equipment okay set the package unit, put the other package unit on the trailer or set the air handler and set the condenser. Mm -hmm. He can have the rest done by three 34 o'clock. See, that's, that's beautiful. I mean, that would be, that would be an ideal situation. That's what we were talking about doing like here, like, Hey, me, George, we get there, we help boom, boom. And then one of us just blitzes out and Q and me, Q and George, you know what I mean? Yep. And then just, punch it in the face yeah those are those are the discussions that we've been having you know here at work like how we're gonna so do we're things. all we're all in it and um because i also need to start learning the hot side the cooking equipment for sure bro. my dad and my uncle are the ones that do it and they're the ones that are not in the best condition right now but you they nothing to do but just jump in it and start learning yeah, I told my dad, I was like, I'll, I'll just, uh, you know, start popping up to those and, and getting my hands dirty with it. Hell yeah. Make it happen, Captain. All right. So all the all the recommendations for the veto bag, I will get back to you guys. Uh, hose hauler was a popular really? uh, comment that I saw. How many people? Oh, yo, yeah, we, only got, we only got a week left to get your spring promos. Oh yeah! If you guys yeah, want free get bag, a, a, I, I, posted, I posted that lunchbox one mm-hmm. and uh, like a short somewhere TikTok or whatever, and then they're like, "Oh, two hundred dollars for that!" I was like, "That's why you only really buy them during the spring promo right, right? now, you get two bro." Bags like, for two hundred bucks, bro. A soft side Yeti is like two fifty. Like pump the and it's bigger. well, yeah. You can't compare it to like because I had like a Klein cooler. That's what I'm comparing it to, right? Yeah. That thing was like, I don't know, 80 bucks or something. Right. But it had no pockets. It had no anything it around it. It was just a plastic cooler, like insulate. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now, what's the what's the bag that I put my torches in? Is that the MB3B? I think so. 4B. Oh, the 4B? Mm-hmm. Is that a backpack? The backpack. Open of top. The 4B, yeah. Yeah, I have people asking me what that is, and it's nowhere on the bag. Should be on the bottom it's on the, the bottom. Underneath the, the where it says like tech series and then under the pouch, like on the bottom, right above the base. It'll be stitched in white. Uh, you gotta you actually have to pick it up and look at it because you can't see it. Okay. Because <laughs> uh yeah, looking at it, it's like under the pouch. Um, that actually the works out pretty good. It's not made for that, but um 
No, it 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 looks solid. I saw that when you post when you were like using it. Now that you mentioned it, today. you got the it's oxy got acetylene and it works good. Oxy acetylene, it's got that hook on it, and I've got a a ring in my van. I just hook That's it up crazy. on the ring and it sits about that far off the floor. Damn, I might have to convert mine over to that. <laughs> so I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's a good, it's a solid choice. And yeah. It's got little pouches on the side for your sparker for your mirror and all your Yeah, that, that's how I had mine set up, but it was the uh the turbo torch. Mm -hmm. And but it has all the pockets, all the storage you need. Wrap up wrap up the hose and put it in the front flap. That's what I do with mine. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah, fellas. Is it getting uh, late or something? Y'all are slowing down. Yeah, it's getting late. <laughs> uh how are those Vito coolers? They overkill for a front cab. I have mine in the seat. It's a huge. Depends. Yeah, it, I never. I don't know what the the little one is. It's definitely a cooler. Um, yeah, I. The more the merrier, because bro, like, I'll, like when I'm packing a lunch, I'm just like, yeah, I need this. I need this. I need that. You know what I mean? And then sometimes I don't have enough room. But this one, it's just like it's got that extra storage on the lid, and then all this shit on the side. So I'm like, all right. Slow yeah, down, somebody. Bro. I think somebody told me that I had very little in it. I was like, well. I just, what I do you just want me to it, do? Right? It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, bro. Do you see how big <laughs> this thing is? <laughs> yeah, I I mostly use it to put, and I started just putting the the freezer packs in there, and it actually keeps it cold. So yeah, put That's a couple of those and fill it up with like Gatorades and waters. That's mm -hmm. mostly what I want it for, and then I'll just stick like a and you can fit you know, whatever. You can fit this size Gatorade in. Well, y'all y'all know I use that little ammo can milwaukee cooler mm -hmm. yeah i fill it with ice every morning and by five o'clock all the ice is gone damn i got the the big boy in the back because for this week with the installs and the, the attic and i didn't even fucking fill it up and i'm gonna do that one day so obviously it sucks kurt is what you're saying <laughs> well i i would like it to last a little longer than i'm that. gonna take i'm gonna get the tough belt joint the big boy I got a big Yeti, same size, and then the pack out, and I'll just do one day where I just have like. You're gonna test it. Yeah, we'll just do a test, man. Okay. And I, then the I van. Thought like, of doing, I had thought of doing that, but I don't feel like doing it. So yeah, Everybody, maybe I'll do it. Turn, in, turn into, into Jake. The van and the van gets hot. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, we'll, we'll see. We'll test it out. We'll put little fucking little thermometers in that bitch. Put a little uh K style in there. Boom. <clears throat> Let it ride. Liquid IV. Th that's what I was just. That's what I just drank in here, and then just <laughs> the Gatorade and liquid IV. Chased it with a Gatorade. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Diet Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> oh, well, Riley's saying it's time to go. Yeah, I'm with him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys have anything else. I think I think we're good. I think I'm good too. I think I got. I probably only got through a couple of my topics, but. That's good for the next one. For next next time. time. Boom. <laughs> We're crushing it. Sell it. All right, guys. So um, you want to sign off? All nope. right, y'all. Pleasure having you I appreciate everybody uh, for coming out. And good we'll see you guys you. next time. On the next one.